Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Wow, cross watcher. Maybe you're dealing with a Aquarius message. Actually, could just could be for you. So take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general timeless readings. All my information down below in the description box. You guys know the drill. And you can also jump over to my Instagram. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy freaking things that I play around with over there energetically or whatever the hell. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. So here's what we've got going on. We've got imperfection. Okay. Honestly, Aquarius, I'm going to say this straight up. Like, I feel as though you guys are, like, focused on some kind of imperfection. It's either about another person or about yourself. Some of you guys could be dealing with some... It's, it could be... It's going to be different for all of you, but... It's almost like an ultra focus on what you think is some kind of flaw that you have. How very interesting that you have antimatter coming out right next to this. Like both of them are like there's a square and a rectangle and I'm going to get into that because there's probably a lot actually to that. It's almost like this is create some kind of energetic restriction going on. It's it could be coming across as like typical Aquarius fixed or rigidity. Um Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Okay, you have the spiral card. Okay, here we go. Your process, it, like there's something going on. This is what I talk about when it comes to Piscean energy because you might be, um, move, you are moving up, but you have this specific process and it keeps coming back to this. And I think it's because something about you energetically maybe it's even it's more like psychologically taking place but there's a particular energy that could have like really got into your head about an imperfection or it's something has been going on something like that and there's um let me grab the freaking cards there's something this is a really weird. I'm gonna try to my best. We have the oh, we have the King of Wands. Wow. Okay. I feel like you. Okay, just give me a second because I actually can feel what is going on. I just need a bit. You have the Page of Swords and the Chariot. You have the King of Cups. Oh, and there's the two wands. Apparently that's coming in together. This person's looking out for you or they they could be making some kind of plans. You have the Four of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Oh, they would bounce right out. You have the Hanged Man. Yeah. The Three of Wands and the ace of wands okay are you freaking ready for this aquarius it took me a second but i think i finally kind of grasp onto the energy okay there's a another energy you could be dealing with two i'm gonna say that two of wands can sometimes be a choice so i'm gonna just throw that out there you have two energies that are coming in and I am going to keep them separate. I think what's going on with you energetically is something. It's like there's some kind of fascinating interconnection between these two. And you have the Page of Swords. And it's almost like there's like almost projections that you're casting on some of the energies that you're dealing with. Because you could be looking at these two and something about your perspective i don't know it's it could be about you're either looking at another person's imperfections or you're looking very much at your own and it's been preventing you it's actually kept you stuck 
but I also feel as though there's a person here where there hasn't become enough tangible. The antimatter says that there hasn't been enough either information that you've received or because it's still just in this antimatter state and it's either the king of wands or the king of cups i'm not totally sure but something about one of these energies that you're dealing with is almost like you've conjured up something about what hasn't been filled in for you so i've talked about this so i feel like i brought this up months ago in someone else's reading but it's almost like you don't have enough information on a particular person or a situation so you've kind of been like filling in the gaps so if another person didn't make things completely tangible you could have like kind of filled in the gaps with your own imperfections is that making sense so and maybe it's connected to this king of cups human okay I, I actually don't know who's who, depending on who you've been dealing with. This person could is like waiting or making plans that are connected to you, whatever that looks like. But I do want to say, if you could have two energies that are presenting themselves at this time, because like I said, two of wands is a choice. This you might be about to move forward. I think if you deal with anyone or anything from the past, it will bounce out just as fast as it came in. And that could be the perspective that you're trying to hold on this person or situation because you're kind of realizing that this could be trying to come in very passionately, um, possibly just to get some kind of energetic fuel. But it also feels like to me, all right, I'm going to say it straight up. You're about to move forward <laughs> in a very significant way. I feel like things have been, you, you've just been in some kind of process. This is almost like a groundhog's day. So you could have felt like you were just kind of doing the same things over and over again. And you were trying to work within those limits to come out of it. But you, like a part of your perception was ultra focus on some kind of imperfection like it almost feels like that's what's limiting your reality at this time is that you keep thinking that your flaws are not going to be accepted or just this imperfection card but seriously nobody is freaking perfect i know we all say that but it just feels like to me that's why you've been blocked for so long is because some of you guys also might be in a process of moving toward the new, but you could have these concerns that I almost feel like at a deeper, deeper, deeper level, you've been accepting some kind of past energy back into your reality, mainly because of your imperfections. Like, and some of you guys could have been caught up in some kind of process where you were trying to fix your what you perceived they were not even really imperfections there was a person that could have made you feel like you or highlighted your imperfections in a negative manner i feel like that's a person that is somewhere in your reality dealing with i don't know if it's the king of cups or the king of wands but that's what's been taking place so it's like okay um That, there's an energy that is in close proximity, okay? I don't know how, some of you guys, you could be, maybe you even created distance from a particular person. That could be the case too. So you're, you could be energetically moving toward some kind of other energy that made an appearance and you, you felt like it was that's why I feel like could be coming up. So something could have come up recently and oh, that's what it is. There's a person in your reality and you could be seeing them as very action oriented or very confident, like whatever it's coming across as that could be influencing your movements over the next week or whatever the timeline is. It's like now that you've gained some kind of knowledge or information about a particular energy, there's another person that doesn't really know what you know, but you realize something significant. Like you're like, holy shiz, like almost like a person 
um, you, you like are very aware of what this person is going through and maybe you're realizing something about yourself as you watch another person or you perceive them, but you're about to make some kind of move or movement over to looks good with the four of wands. Like maybe it's some kind of living situation or maybe you're going to a celebration or a networking event. Something about this <laughs> is like really good. It looks like it's a celebration coming up. And then we've got, hmm, very interesting. Oh. <laughs> Okay, is that what it is? So you might be dealing with a person that I think that if you make a move towards someone, you might figure out that they're not really a king. They're, they're actually coming across as more of a knight, which might be telling me that they're still a little non-committal or something like that it's energetically it's coming forward towards you like freaking intense because king of wands is like this energy is coming straight forward okay wow because even the chariot card some of these energies are like coming straight for you in some particular way and i think it's because whatever you're oh you're ready for this spin your imperfections in this reality actually set you up in a really good position. And whenever you guys figure this out, you will one day be thanking the universe that you got put in the crazy position that you did, even though it's brought a lot of crazy situations towards you, but you're the one that gets set up karmically, like on the right side of justice. And that's not so pleasant for people to deal with you <laughs> because you're on the rise. You're in this ascending energy. And I want to say, like, don't get too caught up on karmic things that come towards you. Like, don't repeat what feels negative to you. If someone comes forward towards you and you are, like, dealing with something negative and, and you feel all this intensity around it, don't duplicate what you're seeing. I'm telling you, there's a karma behind that and it's it's not very comfortable. But um, also, yes, that's what I was seeing. So it looks like if you were to if you were to move towards this person, you and maybe you even know it on some level. There's just something here where you don't have enough information on the person. I do see that you're curious about someone. Like they really piqued your interest, <laughs> which is very challenging to get an Aquarian's interest. You know what I mean? It almost feels like there's there's a person here, you're bored by them. They're very energetically like sparked by you, but it feels like to me, you're kind of disinterested with something because you, you're like, this is just the same process. It, it might come in and out, but that's why I was saying if there's been a person where there's there hasn't been a lot revealed to you, I would just be kind of cautious, especially if you don't have a whole lot of information on a person or situation because you might be seeing that energetically this person might be like just a little different than you expected. Okay, like they actually might not. They might be fluctuating back and forth between this and maybe it's their confidence level. So they kind of like for a bit, they're like full blown moving forward. And then you might see something where they like back up energetically just a little bit. Maybe maybe it's a, out of an insecurity Aquarius because you might do something or say something over here. Cause this, is, this page of swords is something about your communications or a little bit of a revelation. And it looks like energetically, there's a person here that knows there's another energy that's connected to you, but you're coming across as super fiery with the Ace of Wands, which might be like, 
maybe you're going through a phoenix rising type of a situation or like maybe your passion is coming back on maybe you're just feeling a zest for life in general but your energy looks like it's very sparked it's very much action oriented and all about movement especially with the fire card and it just looks like energetically there's a lot of movement that's even taking place around you that's connected to the shifts and changes that you've made so it's just interesting. I'm just seeing that this person might back off a little bit, almost like out of, it's either out of insecurity, but it's almost, maybe it's just like energetically, this person might become like, maybe you'll just see something like their insecurities come up because I'm seeing them actually back down to a knight, which I wonder is, it's either this king of cups who's gonna come in like, I don't know, who's who, They'll come out, they'll move out as, wow, I even picked that up and there is the queen of wands. And I was sitting there thinking about that. That's so freaking crazy. That's why Aquarius, because you're freaking moving into this really attractive energy. Your confidence is rising and there are at least two energies. I don't know, but see, that's why I was saying that. That's why I was picking up on that. But look at you, you know the truth. Look at you. In the truth. So, let me dive into the extended Aquarius. If you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.